Welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you around the Activities tab. Here, you can set up automations so that incoming SMS and missed calls will trigger events within the system, whether it's an outbound SMS, a change to contact details, or a web activity. To get started, click on Create New Activity. This brings up the Creation dialog. Here, you have a number of options. You can set up an automatic reply so that an inbound SMS gets an automatic response. You can set up an auto reply to missed calls so that people who call you and hang up get an automatic SMS. You can automatically forward incoming SMS to another number. And you can automatically send an SMS to another number when a missed call is received. Finally, you can set up subscriptions, which means you can automatically add or remove contacts from a group when they send in an SMS that matches a certain keyword. Let's start with an auto reply. First of all, you need to give your auto reply a name. It's important to think here about the kinds of things that automatic replies could be used for. I'll use an example based around libraries. So as a library, your users might want to know what time you're open. So I'm going to call this the opening hours auto reply. So the reply might be our opening hours are and then the opening hours of the library. Below, you can choose whether to send this to SMS messages that start with a certain keyword, SMS messages that contain the certain keyword, or all inbound SMS. If you use SMS messages that start with a specified keyword, then you have to assume that the people who are responding have received instructions. So for example, they've seen a poster around the library that says, text a certain word to this number to, find, to find out our opening hours. If they contain the specified keyword, then you might be assuming that you're just trying to automatically understand what an incoming SMS is needing. So for example, if you set the system to reply to all messages that contain the word open, then you would automatically reply to messages such as what time are you open with the correct message. But you might also incorrectly reply to a message about opening a parcel. Thinking through keywords is important and testing them out with your audience is a key part of getting them right. Finally, you can reply to all inbound SMS. This is useful for, for example, sending a courteous thank you message to all people who send you an SMS. However, be aware that there are message costs associated with all your replies. And so if all inbound SMS receive a response, then you are no longer entirely in control of your SMS costs because the number of inbound messages, which may come from anyone, will determine how many messages you're sending out. So use that one with caution, but it can be very helpful. For this action, I'm going to choose the first option, SMS messages that start with a certain keyword, and I'm going to say the keyword is open. For now, I'm just going to save that activity so that you can see what happens next. So now the system is telling you that the opening hours SMS auto reply is successfully saved and, and activated. In the list below, you can see all of the activities you have set up on your system and control them in a dashboard. You can see that this activity is open, that it is an auto reply, that it is an auto reply to SMS activity, that you've named it opening hours, that the keyword is open, that it is triggered by an SMS, and the date and time it was created. You can also see whether it was triggered. I'm going to trigger it now with an incoming SMS. Any inbound messages that don't trigger activities will remain in the inbox. Now that I've sent the message in, you can see it's been triggered once. If we go back into it, you can see more detail. Here's my message, and if you click on the expand icon, you can see that we sent out the auto reply. In this dialog, you can edit your activity, and I'm just going to use that to show you the advanced configuration options. Here, you can set the connection you want to use when sending an outbound message. I'm going to default this to Twilio. In this dropdown, you can choose to only automatically reply to members of a certain group. This can solve the problem that I mentioned earlier, where giving control of your SMS costs to outside parties could prove problematic. Here you can restrict it so that only contacts in a certain group can trigger an auto reply. Finally, you can add a manual tag to all SMS that trigger this activity. If I show you the SMS in the inbox where we've seen before, you can see that it's not tagged right now. 
In future versions of Frontline Cloud and Frontline SMS, you'll be able to control how activities work depending on the tags attached to not only a message, but also a contact. That hasn't been built yet. At the moment, though, you can see that this SMS triggered the opening hours activity. I'm going to show you one more type of activity, although there are several you could choose from. I'm just going to show you how I've set up a flash to join activity. This one enables my volunteers to missed call me if they wish to be added to a group. For example, I could tell them to missed call the number that I've given them if they'd like to join our training activity the following week. So I've set up a new activity which I've called volunteer by missed call. I've created a group called volunteer and selected that to be the group whose membership the subscription will affect. You can also create a new group in this dialogue. For each person who missed calls that number, they'll get an SMS that says thank you and allows you to leave the group by texting volunteer leave to the number. I've set up a separate SMS subscription service to allow that to happen. I've saved that and you'll see that the message is here, a flash to join activity. It shows the date that it was created and the last time it was triggered. Let's have a look and see who's volunteered. Here we have a message from Keith. Activities can be extremely powerful. I've seen people use activities to run polls, to allow radio listeners to say whether or not they're happy with an electoral result or a government policy. We've used auto-forwarding SMS to manage security alerts at the iHub in Nairobi, so that if something happened, people could report their status to us and those messages would be forwarded to the group of managers so that we knew when our staff were safe. Adding missed calls allows you to do that when you're too busy to send an SMS or if you don't have enough credit on your phone to do so. In future, you'll be able to do even more exciting things with this type of functionality in Frontline. Keep an eye on the Frontline SMS website and join the newsletter for more information as it comes out. In the meantime, congratulations. Now you know how to use activities.